Hi all, welcome to BRR Knowledge Center. In this session, we'll see what is an Azure tenant. So, uh, what is an Azure tenant and uh, uh, what are all other aspects in modern tenant creation and Azure Active Directory? So, if you get, uh, get into this portal here and we'll see like what is an Azure uh, Active Tenant here. I'm just clicking on Azure Active Directory so i'm just going back to uh, my login here and we'll see like uh, what is there here if you look at here this is what my tenant here right now and in under this we have uh, basic information and if you go to here manage tenants and you will see um, different tenants here i'm just clicking on this and right now i have two tenants here uh, so basically, uh, we can create any, any any number of directories here and we can switch to uh, uh, in, in, in the specific directory here. There is no charge to create tenant on Azure AD anyway. So currently I have two directories and I'm, I can switch to any of this. So when I switch to my tenant, I'm just clicking on this uh, tenant here, I selected uh, the default directory 33 uh, tenant and I'm going to navigate back to uh, uh, my tenant here let me wait wait just clicking on here going back and selecting my tenant clicking on switch so i'm just navigating to the uh, selected tenant here clicking on this uh, skip for now but to uh, provide uh, the uh, stuff to protect the account here and then it is navigating to the selected uh, directory here which is under uh, active directory of azure so if you look at here this is what the directory switched on and if you look at here this is what the uh, basic information like name of the uh, tenant uh, the directory and this is what the tenant id and this is what the primary domain name and this is what the license right now i have it and uh, i i was in the global administrator where uh, i can uh, create any uh, uh no you know users and other stuff here so, but 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 you can create Azure AD and users and uh, assign some permissions and app registration secret keys and other uh, et cetera, et cetera information here using this, you know, the um, uh, free uh, Azure AD license, but you cannot create any resources. Uh, even if you try to create any resource, like, you know, going here, oh man, if you try to create any resource, create a resource, it is showing a welcome screen here because when I create a create and um, virtual machine, it is showing a welcome to Azure. As it is a trial version of directory uh, tenant, hence it is not allowing to create. It is only displaying welcome screen here to Azure and don't have subscriptions. That's why it is not allowing to create. So it is asking to start with the free version of Azure where it is giving $200 free credit towards to Azure products. And you just start with that by giving the information for your account and start creating of resources. So tenant is an Azure Active Directory and it is a security context. Okay, going back here and in this here, I go to this Azure Active Directory here and you can see this tenant information still and uh, you can uh, create whatever users you want to create it here. When I talk about uh, this term tenant, so we'll see users Users purely uh, is a uh, user ID and the password, which you are uh, logging into the uh, specific uh, no, tenant or specific directory. So that logins into a portal, right? So right now I have users, two users here right now. And uh, you can see uh, what else uh, you can create if you want to uh, uh, create another user. You go to the you know, users and you can create users here. And similar way, I think you can register any app if you wanted to register uh, app to be logged through uh, like a portal. And uh, here you have app register. Going here, you have uh, what is that app registration where you can create uh, app registration stuff here. Right now, I just created uh, app. Uh, Microsoft Graph demo where it is giving an application client ID for this and using this you will uh, connect to this Azure uh, from your app and before that I think you need to create 
the client secret and uh, you know the client id and secret stuff, stuff here and uh, going back here and let, there are a lot of options we have for monitoring and uh, where you can monitor all your signing logins and write logins and provision logins and coming to here and the users i told users and the role and administrators because i was a global administrator and i can see so what are the roles i'm going to assign it and going to be uh, given access these are the different uh, the roles available in the global administrator because i was a global administrator and uh, uh, for granting access for privileged actions in azure ad so is recommending these built-in roles for delegating user access to manage broad applications so application administrator developer there are the different roles you can see here because you are in a global administrator and you can change or you can grant any permissions and here coming to here in the application registration so here roles and administration and here the app registration stuff and here the license stuff and coming to the security so where you can provide the security stuff if you want it to the uh, uh no active directory so where you will provide this stuff and and coming to the next one i think uh, so groups the groups also you can create because these are all uh, uh you know free for the free license um uh, pricing model where you can create everything it's not going to be chargeable until you create a resource here and the stuff the stuff you can create under this uh, tenant so if you go and see here again that manage tenants still i can see these tenants if you want to create another tenant here you can create and it is uh, going to display the basic stuff here like uh, what do you want to use kind of a tenant type azure active directory or azure active directory b2c and again you have configuration stuff here like organization name and uh, initial domain name and country where you want and then you will review and you will create it that way it is going to create a tenant and an on, on azure portal and you can create n number of directories or n, n number of tenants yes, these are not going to be chargeable okay this is how you are going to create a tenant here on active directory so uh, it is an enterprise identity service of active directory that provides single sign-on multi-factor authentication and conditional access to a god against you know 99.9 percent is of you know the uh, access so users purely is the user id and the password that log into the portal so we can assign it to a tenant id to the user but they cannot be uh, they cannot belong to more tenants so all users assigned to one tenant but but they cannot belong to more tenants okay so if you look at here uh, i am uh, assigned to more than one tenant but at a time i can log into one tenant okay again i can select this and i can go back to uh, my you know organization tenant here and i can see all the stuff which are under this tenant so same stuff i can see here and so same user information same you know uh, groups and virtual machines and appreciation and all the stuff you can see here so this is all about you know kind of uh, a tenant and how you are going to create and uh, purpose of having a tenant okay so tenant is compulsory to uh, uh, having access to your Azure portal. You must be assigned to a tenant and then you create user stuff and you register your apps, applications to if you wanted to log in through Microsoft Azure portal. So thanks for listening to this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.